following her admission of an inappropriate relationship, Tolian Chivijin resigned. Less than six weeks after Tolian Chivijin resigned from his position as senior pastor of a well-known Orlando church due to an affair, he says he has no intention of fading from view. Chivijin posted on his Facebook page on Tuesday, saying, One of the big questions I've wrestled with is, how have I properly stirred this glorious ruin? Billy Graham's grandson desired to go into a hole and be anonymous for a long, long time. But Chivijin said he was afraid that by remaining silent, his message of grace, which has been the subject of many of his earlier books, might be compromised. Chivijin wrote, I undermine the very message that I claim to believe if I only let you see me when I'm good and strong and polished and at the top. One of the many lessons I've learned from this is that failing to practice what you preach can be destructive. But if I flee because I don't want you to see me broken and weak, sad and angry, and struggling with fear, guilt, and shame, then I fail to practice what I preach. Following the public's discovery of his affair, Shavidjian, who has not stopped posting on Facebook and tweeting, declared he would use social media to inform people of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Several of his tweets feature images of his new grandchild and depict family life. He tweeted a picture of his late father, Stephen Shavidjian, on July 29. He wrote, My dad would have been 76 today. He is the one who could have assisted me the most at this time. I long for him. Negative. Following his resignation, Chivijin's 2012-founded ministry, Liberate, canceled its next conference and closed its doors for good. Talian Chivijin, a well-known author and pastor, has left his position as Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church's senior pastor. Chivijin, a Billy Graham grandson, left the PCA congregation in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, citing ongoing marital issues as the cause. He claimed that after learning of his wife's affair, he turned to a friend for solace, and, as a result, their relationship became inappropriate. On Sunday, the church's website removed Chivijin's name as social media rumors of his resignation started to circulate. He gave the Washington Post a statement on Sunday confirming the news. Our church leaders approached me last week and inquired about my personal relationship. I acknowledged it, and it was determined that my resignation would be the best course of action. My wife and I are deeply sorry for what we did, and we humbly ask that you pray for God to grant us the strength to get through this terrible time with our family. Coral Ridge stated on its website that Chivijin resigned, effective immediately, and admitted to moral failure, acknowledging his actions disqualify him from continuing to serve as senior pastor or preach from the pulpit. We are saddened by this news, but are working with and assisting Pastor Tullian and his family to help them through this difficult time and asking people to join us in praying that God will bring restoration through this process and healing to all involved, said church officials. The leadership of Coral Ridge remained committed to promoting the transforming power of the gospel. The press release continued. While we do not yet know whom God will direct to lead our congregation in the near future, we trust the Lord's guidance during this transition period, knowing He is our hope. There have been issues with Chivijan's employment at Coral Ridge from the beginning. The church appointed the 36-year-old as its senior pastor in the spring of 2009. Chivinjin oversaw a fledgling church plant at the time that subsequently amalgamated with Coral Ridge. Coral Ridge, which was established by well-known preacher D. James Kennedy, used to attract up to 7,000 worshippers. However, it had been declining since Kennedy's passing in 2006. The leaders of the church believed that Chivijin's youth, vision, and reputation would help the ailing congregation. Rather, they experienced anarchy. Within six months, a group of churchgoers led by Jennifer Kennedy, the daughter of President Kennedy, demanded Chivijin's resignation. The church banned those dissidents. Chivijin's rejection of politics centered around the culture war and a shift in worship style were at stake. Chivijin discussed the 2011 attempted coup with Leadership Journal. That was a very awkward time to be coming to worship every Sunday morning, not knowing who loved you and who didn't. When I would stand up to preach, some of the choir members would get up and leave. As I preached, people would sit in the front row and just stare at me. It was really uncomfortable. In between services, I would get grabbed by people who would say, you're ruining this church, and I'm and going to do everything and depressing I can development in the evangelical community has occurred with the resignation of Tullian Chivijin, the grandson of well-known evangelist Billy Graham, from his role as senior pastor at Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church. Less than six weeks after Chivijin resigned from a well-known Orlando church over an affair, he freely acknowledged having an inappropriate relationship 
and expressed his sincere regret. He announced his moral failure in an emotionally open statement before leaving the pulpit to embark on a journey of introspection and self-healing. However, Chivijian made it plain that he intended to continue sharing his story, complete with its brokenness, struggles, and lessons on grace, in contrast to many other leaders who might withdraw from the public eye in the wake of such a scandal. It is remarkable that Chivijian chose to continue interacting with the public despite going through personal difficulties. He has been posting a lot on social media, especially Facebook and Twitter, giving his followers an insight into his ongoing struggles and the emotional fallout from his decisions. Chivinjin acknowledged the wish to fade into anonymity, but he also stated that he felt his message of grace would be diminished if he said nothing at all during his lowest points. He maintained that the purest expression of grace is not when a person is polished and successful, but rather when they are weak, broken, and experiencing fear, guilt, and shame. To put into practice what Chivinjin has long preached, namely, that God's grace is sufficient even for the gravest of sins, he believes that sharing these personal experiences is crucial. The church's moral integrity is being questioned more and more, and its leaders are being held to higher standards of accountability and transparency. This coincides with his affair and subsequent resignation. Since D. James Kennedy passed away in 2006, the historic Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church has already seen difficult times. Kennedy was the church's former leader. The church had hoped that Chivijan's youthful vitality and illustrious family background would revitalize the dwindling membership. But from the beginning, his tenure was tainted with controversy due to internal disputes about worship style, political involvement, and vision for leadership. Six months into his tenure as senior pastor in 2009, Chivijan was the target of an attempted coup by a group within the church headed by Jennifer Kennedy, Kennedy's daughter. His rejection of politics rooted in the culture war and the modifications he made to the church's worship sessions infuriated this group. The dispute escalated to the point where some congregants openly confronted him in the church hallways and others staged walkouts during his sermons. Tivijin's relationship with the congregation remained shaky even after the coup, and these underlying tensions probably made it harder for him to lead the church. When Tivijin disclosed that he had turned to a friend for solace following his wife's extramarital affair, it was the culmination of his personal troubles. The initial goal of this relationship was to support him emotionally, but it became inappropriate and he had to make the difficult decision to leave. When church officials confronted Chivijin about the affair, he resigned and acknowledged that his actions had disqualified him from holding the position of senior pastor. He and his spouse acknowledged the heartache their actions had caused to each other, their family, and the church community, and they both asked for prayers from the congregation while expressing their profound regret. Chivinjin's resignation had an instant impact. Limberit, his ministry that aimed to share the gospel of grace and forgiveness, was shut down permanently and a conference that was scheduled to take place was postponed. His name was taken down from Coral Ridge Church's website and a statement apologizing for his moral failings was released. The church authorities conveyed their sorrow for the circumstances, but they also underlined their dedication to helping Chivinjin and his family get over their loss. While starting the challenging process of handing over leadership, the church also made an effort to reassure its members that they remained committed to sharing the gospel's transformative power. Chivijin had previously encountered disagreements with the evangelical establishment before resigning from Coral Ridge. After a contentious debate over sanctification theology, he publicly broke off his affiliation with the Gospel Coalition, TGC, a network of pastors and academics that is reformed. This happened in 2014. Tim Keller and Don Carson, the founders of TGC, said that the theological disagreement was getting so heated that it was starting to become polarizing. Later, Chivijin expressed Following regret his resignation. The of the Chivijin persisted in grappling with his deeds and their ramifications. His determination to live up to the message of grace he has long championed is evident in his decision to stay active on social media and to post updates on the good, the bad, and the ugly of his life. His frequent and intensely emotional posts provide an insight into the complexities of his circumstances. He is mourning the loss of Stephen Chivijian, his father, as well as the consequences of his actions for his family. However, he is struggling with the weight of his public failure and the difficulty of upholding the message of the gospel despite his own brokenness. Tolian Chivijian's resignation is a sobering moment in his ministry career and personal journey. Tivijin was born into one of the most respected evangelical families. He is the grandson of Billy Graham. 
and his ascent to prominence in the church appeared almost inevitable. However, his fall from grace is a potent reminder that everyone can experience moral failings, regardless of talent or social standing. The often overlooked fact that even those who preach grace must acknowledge their own need, for it is also brought to light by his story. Chivijan's choice to stay in the spotlight in spite of the controversy demonstrates his dedication to openness as well as his conviction that it's critical to live up to one's words. Through his candid sharing of his challenges and setbacks, he aspires to show that God's grace is accessible to both the broken and the powerful. His choice to come clean about his transgressions rather than keep quiet casts doubt on the conventional story of reformed pastors who discreetly fade into obscurity. Rather, Chivijin extends an invitation to others to share in his journey of recovery, peacemaking, and confession. Without a doubt, Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church is grieving over the loss of their pastor. Instead of guiding them through a time of rejuvenation as they had hoped, Chivijin has forced them to undergo yet another change. The church leadership, however, is optimistic, despite the challenging circumstances, believing that God will provide them the direction they require to proceed. Their dedication to supporting Chivijin and his family during this time of healing demonstrates the church's understanding of grace and forgiveness, even in the face of sin's consequences. While Chivijin's story is not unique, it does provide a moving example of the difficulties faced by religious leaders as they attempt to deal with the complexities of personal failure in the public eye. In contrast to the customary pattern of quiet and withdrawal, he is willing to stay involved in the community in spite of his mistakes. Tevijin is living out the grace he preaches and providing a potent example of the gospel's redemptive power by sharing his journey going forward. Chivijan's story will probably continue to speak to people who have felt failure, guilt, and shame as he goes forward. His words of grace, which were previously spoken from a position of strength, now have even greater weight because they come from a broken place. Ultimately, Chivijan's experience serves as a reminder that grace is for everyone, even those who are imperfect. As Chivijan tweeted, grace is even greater in the valley of the shadow of death. Chivijan continues to exemplify the message of grace, healing and hope at the core of the Christian faith via his open journey of repentance. Even though the future is uncertain, his resolve to stick with it and practice what he has long preached could prove, in the end, to be a testament to the grace's ability to transform even in the face of moral failure.